G'day everyone. Uh, hopefully you can hear me okay up there. I'm just um, trying out my new trying out my new Rode microphone plugged into the computer. So guys, uh, thanks for joining. I don't think there's anyone following it at the moment, but anyway, we'll keep going. And uh, look, it's really really good to be with you. If this is the first time I've ever done a live stream, so I appreciate you um, uh, joining in and following along on the way. It's really good of you guys. So sorry I haven't been uh, putting up video content lately, guys. Been flat out. Um, as you most of you know, you've probably seen the videos I uploaded oh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I just got back from Vietnam, had an awesome time over there. Really, really good time, guys. If you haven't been, I highly recommend it uh, that you go over to uh, Vietnam and check it out for yourself. Now, to say thank you to Lionel for uh, hosting me over there and uh, putting up with me. Lionel, you'll be uh, real happy, mate. I uh, got you this book for you, okay, this uh, Fennec Macros, mate, so hopefully you'll enjoy that, buddy. All right. And funny enough, too, uh, MFG Machine has bought the same book on Instagram. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, so, guys, I just uh, want to show you, I've recently I got a heap of tool swag, and uh, if you've been following me along on Instagram, you would have noticed that uh, a, a big purchase of tools came in for me, and I, I'm so sick of using that touch probe on the Sile CNC machine. I went out, and you'll be proud of me, I splurged out and bought a Hymer. Now, in Australia, they're a little bit expensive. G'day, Morgan. How are you, buddy? Uh, in Australia, they're a little bit expensive. It cost me about $800, so I think that's about five sixty US or something like that, um, which is not too bad. I finally got myself one of these Noga magnetic bases as well, guys. Uh, that's with the one um, with this ball joint attachment here. And uh, I'm freaking excited to use that, and I'm really looking forward to it, guys. I think that cost me about $200 uh, Australian. Um, for US dollars, guys, I don't know. You'd have to convert it. I think, I, think, uh, I, think one, I think for one Australian dollar, you guys pay 76 cents, something like that. So it's not a lot, you know. I've uh, got this awesome little finger gauge as well, guys. About time I got one of these little finger dial gauges and uh, so sick of using the big dial gauge out there. What else? Bought a couple of little um, BT30 ER16 and I bought two of these guys because I want to start uh, doing a bit more 3D machining and using a ball end mill. And uh, so I thought this would allow me to come down into those tight spaces. With an ER32, it's, it's a lot larger and you're sort of uh, limited in some cases. So... I'm looking forward to giving these a, a trial, guys, as well. What else? Um, got this thing as well here, guys. So this is this will go into my finger gauge, and you wouldn't believe it. With that finger gauge, they've sent me the wrong attachment because I wanted to be able to put this into a collet chuck and sweep a bore or something like that for accuracy, and uh, it won't bloody fit, so I'm a bit pissed off about that. But anyway, I'll just have to buy the lower connection. Now... Really happy, guys. I've been uh, – some of the um, subscribers have been giving me some free gifts, so I'm really lucky. Thank you very much. And I might share them uh, with, with you now if you don't mind. So uh, big shout-out and a big thank you to, to Michael Connor Woodwork, guys. <laughs> Michael bought me this extra long air gun. Now, mate, I don't know if you bought it for my machine or it's uh, to be used as a suppository, but anyway, I, I'm uh, – Really appreciate, Michael. Thank you for that long air gun. I don't know. Uh, it will save me uh, getting shit in my eyes. Anyway, mate, it's uh, good on you, buddy. Now, Michael also, he's a good man. Look what he made me, guys. He bought me some bench oil stones. He cut them in half and he put them in his surface grinder with a diamond tip and he matched them. And these things are sweet as. So, Mick... You're a bloody awesome bloke. Thank you very much for those, buddy. I'll definitely put those to use. Thank you. Uh, they're too good. I'm, I'm scared to use them, mate. I might just put them back in the packet eh, and uh, put them on the shelf. No. Um, there's actually a really good YouTube video out there, guys, about actually how to dress these. Um, I'll put that later on. I'll go back and put that link in the description. Michael did send it to me. So if you're wondering who Michael is, guys, check him out. Michael Connor Woodwork. Um, he's been a bit slack. Michael's got a Tormark uh, 1100, had it a while. He's um, up in New South Wales, and uh, he's on Instagram as well, guys, so go check him out. Um, recently, guys, I don't know if you know, can you see up behind me? I've got a TV screen behind me. Um, 
I don't know if you guys know this, I've started my own uh, Facebook page for this channel and it's up here behind me. I'll just scroll down. And, guys, I'm starting to offer a hands-on CNC training. So if you're interested, uh, you can come to my facility here. Uh, it's one-on-one, -on -one, okay, and you can pay for training as well. Okay, it's a three-day course and it's usually done midweek. Um, yeah, so check it out on Facebook, guys. You can see it up there, Design, Creativity and Technology Solutions. Uh, check it out. I really appreciate you uh, liking it and following me, if you don't mind. Now, one of the first uh, people that I've had through the training course, his name's Marino. He's buying himself a sole CNC mill. And uh, Marino was a bit of my uh, beta test. Oh, g'day. Mark's just joined us. How are you, Mark? Good, good to see you, mate. I thought you'd be out flying your uh, ultralight. So uh, a, couple of, a couple of people commented there, guys. Morgan Olive, he's a good bloke. Check him out on Instagram. Mark Cole's also a, um, uh, got his own CNC machine. Uh, <laughs> he's working. And Mark also flies uh, ultralights. So in Australia, we call them ultra frights, don't we, mate? So anyway, Marino came down and did the, did the training course, and I think he enjoyed it. And uh, he, he was very kind, and he bought me some swag. So he bought me a brand-new Vertex uh Touch off sensor, touch point sensor. So thank you, Marino. Um, he even bought me the battery. How good's that? Um, he also, why Marino was here, he uh, got me a couple of other things. He got me a, a nice little wireless mouse to use with my Apple Mac. So thank you, Marino. And because my Wi-Fi is not that, that good out here in the shed, uh, good on you, mate. He's bought me a Wi-Fi extender as well. So I really appreciate that. Thanks, buddy. Now, what else we got here? I want to say a big, um, uh, a big, big thank you, guys, as well. Um, give me one sec. Matt from Matt from Crank Engineering popped in. Now, Matt's on YouTube as Crank Engineering, and you can see some of the shirts he's giving me here. Awesome stuff, Matt. Thank you very much, buddy. And uh, Matt gave me a couple of shirts as well. So, thank you, Matt. Now, Eden also popped around. Uh, Eden lives up in Victoria here, in uh, regional Victoria, and he bought me this awesome little book, mate, for uh, CNC programming. So thank you very much, Eden. I uh, really appreciate it. G'day, Chris. How are you, mate? Nice of you to join us. So, um, so guys, uh, some other stuff I'd like to talk about. So thank you, first of all, thank you to all those people for those free gifts. So... Uh, I mentioned them all here before. So Marino, Michael, Connor, Eden, uh, Matt from Crank Engineering. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lana, for looking after me. Um, just remember, guys, if you just joined here, please go over to Facebook. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and follow my page. Also, too, if you're interested, check out the CNC training that I'm off actually starting to offer here at my at my shop. It's in there. So there's some photos. Now, to give you an idea of what I've been making, guys, um, you may, I made this iPod stand a long, long time ago, but I thought it would be a good introduction to CNC. So what I did, I changed the mounting setup here for the, for the brace. It used to have just two round pieces, and I designed this to sort of fit like the DCT logo. I don't know if you can see the D, C, and the T across the top. And uh, in the training course, guys, what we do, we actually teach you how to uh, how to machine this and then, and then how to fixture it, how to hold it in soft jaws as well. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, that's just one of the little projects we've been doing in our CNC training class, guys. I've got some, um, got some new videos coming up soon that I'd like to share with you. So we're going to be doing a video on the Soul. Recently on the Soul user group, they asked about a... Um, Oh, how, how do you write a spindle warm-up program and that sort of thing? So uh, sometimes what sounds simple to us is not that simple to others, guys. And so we'll start doing that. I'll, I'll show you how to write a spindle warm-up and, you know, why would you use a spindle warm-up program? So, you you know, why you should use one. Um, we're going to do a probing video as well, guys. So I'll show you how to um, clock in that Heimer and get it to use, uh, start using it, which will be good. And I've also like to do a couple of angle grinding hacks as well. So I've got a couple of videos there in mind. Now, uh, recently, I might be able to turn the camera here. I'm not sure. It might be a little bit too hard, guys. But um, I recently bought a um, multi-purpose welder, uh, welding table, um, 
bought a gas bottle as well. And thank you to Mr. John Widmer. Um, he's a math science teacher that I know. He actually loaned me his little plasma cutter. So I really appreciate that. Thank you, Jono. Much appreciated, mate. All right, guys. Well, look, it's been 10 minutes. Um, uh, g'day, Major Payne. How are you, buddy? I, lo I like the name. I love the movie even better. That was one of my favourite movies, Major Payne. So, guys, uh, do you have any questions, those that are listening in? Post them here now, guys, down below. If uh, if I can answer you, I'll do my best. So we've just got nothing really coming through. All right, guys, well, look, that probably just about does it. I'll, I'll, um, I'll end the live stream here. I'll probably start for a little bit to answer your comments if they come through. Uh, thank you for your time today. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll look forward in the upcoming video in the next couple of days, eh? All right. See you guys. You have a good day and uh, look after yourself. Cheers.